What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stocko YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock and I want you to know right now, this company is finally beginning to start that buzz, okay? The rumors are going around, the news is spreading, the articles are coming out. This company is spreading some news really, really quickly. And we've been covering this company for over three months. I've been telling you to continue to load 14, 15, 16, don't stop loading because this company is set to take off on that bank charter approval. What that bank charter approval is gonna do, it's gonna boost EBITDA projections from 3% this year to over 17% next year. This, this is gonna be a significant boost because their cost of capital is going to drop significantly and if you enjoy this video i need you to do three things for me one smash the like button for the youtube algorithm so more and more people can see this video two drop me a comment why you're investing in sofi how did you hear about sofi what are your bullish price targets and three don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated when the weekly breaking news drops for the sofi stock let's get into the video so as you can see right now i'm not just making these videos for the fun of it i'm heavily bullish on the company short term as well as long term i'm bullish in the next 12 months and massively bullish in the next five years we got a seventy thousand dollar position i have another seventy thousand dollar position in my td ameritrade so i'm very very bullish on the company and as you can see i have about a 15 dollar price average right now and we're already up 17 percent. but guys when you sit back and look at this one year chart this company went public like nine months ago it's been absolutely battered the entire year and i'm telling you on these massive dips into these 15 16 dollar ranges these big money whales have been loading this stock up massively and i believe we're breaking out of that you know downtrend because we have massive massive news happening a bank charter approval is going to boost them to profitability much much faster this has been over a one-year process guys you have to go through the occ the fdic there's tons and tons of documents they have to make sure you are right to be approved for this bank charter. Right now, SoFi stock has about 39% of upside, but the thing is majority of these analysts put in their you know, summaries of these price targets that they are not counting bank charter approval. So in my opinion, bank charter approval could get us a run of 30 to 40% into the average price target of $24. Then we will see the price targets be updated with the bank charter approval, and I believe that they're going to push this stock up to you know 30 35 dollars of price targets but we're going to have much more analysts covering the stock once the bank charter goes through and guys nobody knows when it's going to happen but i believe it's going to happen very soon as you can see on their investor presentation they're summarizing exactly what they're trying to do they're trying to go after legacy they are the disruptor the same thing that amazon and tesla did tesla went after the gasoline amazon went after the retail this is what's happening in the banking industry as well. And now it is SoFi's time in financial services. A $2 trillion opportunity, guys. $2 trillion of market cap are up for grabs. We can see here the big players are Visa, JP Morgan, MasterCard, and PayPal. We are going after these legacy accounts. As you can see here, guys, we have 500 million accounts up for grabs in that legacy banking financial industry. I believe SoFi's game plan over the next five to 10 years will be to acquire 5% of these legacy accounts. What 5% of the legacy accounts will do on that 500 million you know, opportunity this will bring us to 25 million customers, guys. That is the game plan. This is the long-term game plan. Acquire 5% of those legacy accounts, that $2 trillion opportunity. And if they can acquire 5% of that $2 trillion opportunity over the next you know, five years or more, they will be a $100 billion plus company. This is going to happen, guys. I'm telling you right now, they have the leadership to do this. They have leadership coming over from Amazon. Tesla, City, USAA, they are building a dream team before this bank charter goes through. And understand, SoFi has not dropped any news since they went public. No news at all. They are waiting for the bank charter to go through. That is the sweet spot that they need to capitalize on this $2 trillion opportunity. Do you know the definition of a billionaire? I'll give you the definition of a billionaire right now. The definition of a billionaire is do not lose, cannot lose. As you can see, we have Greg uh, Mondre, I believe, $1.3 billion net worth, and Daniel Loeb, $4 billion net worth. How do these guys get to this position, okay? They can't stop winning. 
They can pick the unicorns. They pick the 10x plays. These guys are the best. We go over to Fintel. We look at who's buying up SoFi, okay? As we can see, we have some updates coming in from yesterday. You know, on Friday, the 24th. Uh, you can see here, Price T. Row Global Fund. You know, they bought a million shares. You know, people see, you know, these big buys. You know, they get excited, guys. I want to know what the whales are doing. The big money. I want to see what the whales are doing. You're just going to click shares. Boom. We have the whales, guys. 40 million shares. 38 million. 28 million. I want to see what they're buying at, when they're buying at, and I want to know who it is. And guys, those two big players that I showed you, that is Silver Lake Group and Third Point LLC. And you can see these guys have values of $700 million and $550 million plus inside of the SoFi stock. So you just go over to Whale Wisdom. Isn't that funny, guys? That's what they are. They are the whales. That is the website you can track their portfolios. Silver Lake Group, we scroll down. This is the seventh largest position in their portfolio. Guys, if SoFi literally pulls a double or a triple, like I've been saying that it's going to happen in 2022, my price target is still $45. We could see that, you know, this position will go straight to $2 billion plus. It's going to be their third largest position if this company does move like that. It'll be up to $2 billion in market value. These guys are all in. Third point LLC. Let's scroll down. We can see third point LLC. It is also their seventh largest position. And they have over 160 companies in their portfolio. $500 million. If this pulls a triple, it will potentially go to $1.5 billion market valuation. That'll be the third largest position behind upstart and guys and look at this guys daniel Loeb was buying upstart if we scroll over at 40 dollars he literally just five times 500 percent gained on his money this guy is picking the biggest winners in the market every single year and we already know the valuation of sofi right now guys they are going to dust past upstart in the matter of a short time frame because of their valuation and the price to sales is literally split in half of upstart right now guys an amazing buying opportunity on sofi at these price ranges and you can see here the seventh largest position sofi daniel Loeb was buying around 19 dollars, so he was buying months ago he was bullish on the company way long ago okay and as you can see these stocks you know they can't time the bottoms if you've been buying the past couple of months with me congratulations give yourself a pat on the back these were the price ranges I told you to stay bullish at. 14, 15, and 16 were amazing, amazing prices because I was watching what these big hedge funds were loading at. They were bullish a long time ago before you know these prices came about. So congratulations once again. I just put out a video last night on SoFi and their marketing game plan around Super Bowl weekend. And I explained that they're gonna have a massive you know, flow of customers gaining the platform, potentially 2 million okay that's a bullish bullish you know prediction but, I, but i'm almost positive they're gonna get about 1 million downloads on super bowl night because we have over a hundred million people watching the super bowl they are hosting the super bowl at sofi stadium and, I, and guys, you guys understand it is not easy to get the naming rights of a six billion dollar stadium when you're a company you know as small as sofi guys sofi is a small company you know compared to these other you know massive mega caps they had the connections because of the CEO, guys. That is Anthony Noto. He worked at the NFL. He worked at Goldman Sachs. He worked at Twitter. This guy is a true leader, and I'm telling you, he's building a dream team around him. And this investor presentation they put out, they're going to have to adjust it because they're going to smoke past their 2022 revenue predictions of $1.5 billion. I believe this is going to go much higher, potentially in the $2 billion plus range, just because of the marketing team that they have put together. We're going to see the numbers come out in Q3, Q4, and really see what the NFL stadium is doing for their user growth. I'm very excited. We just have to stay patient on this one. And as you can see, this is an article put out about a month ago. This analyst is positive on SoFi stock as bank charter comes within reach. Rosenblatt analyst Sean Horgan rates SoFi a buy along with $30 price target, guys. So I'm telling you right now, that is much higher than 40% upside. That's like, you know, 60 plus percent upside. I believe maybe even 70%. So massive upside with the bank charter. And here is your quote from the CEO. There is no challenger bank better positioned to secure a bank charter than us, guys. There's over 30 different, you know, applications out there on bank charters, okay? So a lot of people want these bank charters, but SoFi is definitely at the top. They have 2.4 billion in cash 
coming in after those warrants get redeemed. You want them to redeem those warrants because that cash is for acquisitions in the future. Right. They have their foot on the gas right now, quoted by CEO Anthony Noto. You can see here, this is another page on their investor presentation. The black is without a bank charter, you know, EBITDA projections. As you can see, this literally jumped 70% into the blue to 447 with the bank charter in 2022, okay? The bank charter is lowering cost of capital. They don't have to go through these third parties, guys. This is gonna be a massive boost towards profitability, okay? Profitability is gonna be coming in 2022 or 2023. This, is this company has been around for about 10 years, so now is the time they went public for you as a retail investor, right around profitability. It does not get better than that. If they went the IPO route, I'm telling you, this company would have been valued three to four times higher. Like we're seeing in all of these other companies that go IPO, their job is to get the highest valuation possible the first day they go public. I'm telling you, they went public for you guys as a retail investor and their valuation is extremely low. We're going to see a potential double as soon as this bank charter goes through, guys. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. Let's try to get this video past 800 likes and be sure to drop me a comment. I'm going to be commenting back to as many people as I possibly can. Let's push for 6,000 subscribers, guys. There's a lot of people, you know, typing in on YouTube, you know, SoFi stock, trying to get an understanding of the company. Guys, I have over 50 videos covering the SoFi stock for you. Be sure to subscribe and watch those other videos if you're new to the channel to get a better understanding of what the goal is for SoFi and exactly it is what they do. Once again, my name is Kyle and I hope you have a great weekend.